So let's take a look at scaling policies. And these determine when a virtual machine should be added or removed to meet the current requirements. And you have this uh, little wizard here. This is what the wizard you see or form you see when you're creating a scale set initially with very simple features. But let's just focus on two things, scaling out and scaling in. So scaling out is when an instance should be added to a scale set to increase capacity. So you choose your metric, uh, which is hard coded in this case, uh, to CPU threshold. So you choose your metric, the duration, how many VMs you want to add. And then the scale in is the opposite. That's when you're removing uh, 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 something from the scale set to decrease your capacity. And again, that interface is very simple. Uh, when you actually go ahead and create a scale set, after you go and update it, you're going to end up with a lot more options. And here are the options. You can see they're extremely robust. And so uh, you have the option to choose one of the built-in host metrics that are already be being collected on your virtual machine. So uh, the most popular here, and there's more than this, but uh, the most popular here is CPU, network in, network out, disk read and write. Uh, then you have your aggregates. So you can decide how you want to group or uh, collect that data uh, before you apply your final operations on it. Uh, then you have your operators. So you can say greater than or greater than or equal to. Then you have your actions. You can say increase the count of, so add uh, X amount of servers, or you can say uh, increase by percentage. So imagine you had um, uh, 10 servers and you want to increase the load by 30%, that would add three additional servers. If you want more metrics than just the built-in host metrics, you can absolutely get more, uh, but you're gonna have to install a couple things. Uh, for app. Uh, if you want more app-specific metrics, like page performance or page load performance and sessions count, you would uh, install a small instrumentation package for app insights. And uh, if you want to have more detailed host metrics, so you might have host metrics, but you want them in more detail or more available host metrics, you'd install the Azure Diagnostic extension within your VM. Um, there are a few other uh, scaling policy options that are, well, they're not exactly in that form, but they are around or are associated with them. One is the scale in policy, not to be confused with the scale in option, um, and this determines what virtual machine should be removed when you decrease capacity. So it's just a simple drop down, and you have a few different options. So there's the default option. This is where it deletes the VM with the highest instance ID, and it's going to do that uh, uh, in taking consideration uh, the balancing across AZs and ADs. Or it can delete the newest virtual machine, so delete the newest VM. Again, uh, this one's only across uh, or availability zones. Or delete the oldest VM. So this is going to delete the oldest VM and balance across availability zones. Then you have an update policy, and this determines how uh, how VM instances are brought up to date with the latest scale set model. So again, it's another drop down, and you have a, a, a few options here. So you have automatic, so increasing the start upgrade immediately in random over. Uh, order or, or manual, so existing, or existing instances must be manually upgraded or rolling. And so this update upgrades roll out uh, in batches with optional pause. Uh, and just one other note here is that if you want to do automatic OS upgrades, you can enable uh, this to help ease update management by safely and automatically upgrading the OS disk for all instances. So there you go.